Netflix, Sling, HBO, suddenly us TV fanatics are swimming in new options for watching our favorite shows online. But there's no way we can afford subscribing to everything. Which internet TV service is best for you? Let's break it down. Netflix has a wide range of movies and TV shows for $7.99 and up, but its TV offerings are often much better than its movie selection. Everything from the latest primetime lineup to classic episodes of Star Trek are here. You also get hot original shows like House of Cards and Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Apocalypse, apocalypse, we caused it with our dumbness. Fair warning though, the selection changes monthly, so what's here today could be gone tomorrow. Dish Network Sling TV gives you a solid television lineup for $20 a month with an option to add additional packages like news or lifestyle. If you miss a show, you can go back and watch it within three days, even if you don't choose to record it. Sling is also one of the only streaming television services that carries ESPN, so if you're a sports nut, it's probably the choice for you. The Olympic speed of Gareth Bale. We are thrilled to be here this morning to announce our standalone streaming service, HBO Now. HBO Now will launch in April, offering shows like Game of Thrones and Silicon Valley for $14.99 a month without a cable subscription. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. HBO's back catalog will also be here, giving you all the Sopranos and Sex in the City you'll ever need. Ultimately, HBO has some of the best shows on television right now, so getting this along with Netflix is how I'd cut the cord. For now, Sony's new streaming TV service only works if you've got a PlayStation 3 or 4, but if that's the case, PlayStation View is a pretty compelling option, offering a wide channel lineup including Comedy Central, MTV, and soon AMC. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not do this now. Walking Dead fans take note. Still, the lack of ESPN and the high price of almost $50 a month may keep a lot of would-be viewers away. That's just a small slice of the streaming television options out there, but remember that even if you cut the cord on cable TV, you'll still have to pay for monthly internet access, so do your math accordingly if you're looking to save some green. Apple is rumored to be announcing a TV service later this summer, but it's still far too early to tell if it's going to be worth holding out for.